Hey, Shalom Israel, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And the one-third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb where it goes. Shalom. Hey, brothers and sisters, so uh, today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, I got this little short epistle coming out, Lord willing. Now, we're going to play, uh, you know, this, this epistle is inspired by this video uh, that came on the feed yesterday. Um, and I, 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 uh, I immediately turned it off. I watched like a few seconds of it, and I was like, oh shit, another Jake blinded, you know, you know, that loving this damn world. You know, but the spirit said, no, play, play the video. For the ministry's sake, at least. You know, for the ministry's sake. For the sake of the word. You know, see where it goes. And I did. And lo and behold, it was actually, you know, it's talking about critical race theory, right? And uh, long story short, like a week ago or so, I had saved this other clip speaking about the same thing. So, thus this epistle here. And it's, it's, it's going into, um, what's it going to be called? Something like... Um, Remember when we were back in the world, they kept, the, the saying was out all over the place. Uh, you got to know where you've been to know where you're going. Um, you got to know the mystery to understand, you got to know the history to understand the mystery. Uh, and of course, the, the big one, supposedly the big one, oh, you know, a nation or, or, or a group or should know their history so they don't make the same mistakes. Things like that, right? But now... You know, they're, they're uh, talking badly, saying, oh, no, we should, uh, should not be teaching this critical race theory, you know. Uh, and as you, we're going to watch this video real quick. We're going to watch, I'm, listen, I'm not going to play the whole thing, but I will. There's two videos. We're going to watch both of them. I'm going to play just a short few seconds or a, few, a minute or so of each one of them. But Lord willing, I will put them in the description box. Just click on the title of this video, and they should drop down. And you can watch the whole thing. The first video is about five minutes long with the, with the, with the father. And the daughter. And the second one is about 9 minutes and 50 seconds long. Okay. Uh, we're going to get into some scriptures. Because it's, sh it's a, you know, Lord willing, you know, this will be edifying. But this is uh, just another understanding of the truth that Yahweh Hashem has bestowed on us. You know, uh, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and the Native American Indians who allow us to understand and, and be more well-rooted and well-grounded in the faith. Just one more, hey, this is the prophecy being fulfilled that this devil, Esau, Edom, the Caucasian race, will be revealed in these last days. And that's what it really gets, gets into. So let's watch, this, let's watch this little clip here of this, uh, where is it at? Hold on, let's go back to history. Yeah. Daddy teaches you can be anything. Daddy teaches you can be anything in this world that you want to be, right? Don't Daddy teach you that? Yeah, and it doesn't matter if, if you're black or white or any color. Doesn't matter if you're black, white, brown, yellow, yellow. right? Black. And and how we treat people is based on who yeah. they are and not and what color nice. they are. And if they're nice and smart. See, this is how this is how children think right here. Critical race theory wants to end that. Not with my children. It's not going to happen. My baby's going to know that no matter what she wants to be in life, all she has to do is work hard, and she can become that. Work hard even though you don't know anyone. You can make friends. <laughs> yeah, you can make friends, no matter what color they are. So we need to stop CRT, period, point blank. Children do not see skin color, man. They love everybody. If they're good people, they love them. We pray for people that are hurt. Anything in this world that you want to be, right? Don't daddy teach you that? Yeah, and it doesn't matter if you're black or white or anything. It doesn't matter if you're black, white, brown, yellow, yeah. right? Black. And, and how we treat people is based on who they are and not and what they're color nice. they are. And if they're nice and smart. See, this is how, this is how children think right here. Critical. Okay, so now uh, we saw that little clip. And of course, you know, he's saying one thing. You know, he's teaching his daughter one thing, but the world, you know, or the world, the Esau Edom, you know, the, the ruler of this wicked ass world, you know, has deceived the nations. He's pushing this thing out here 
And this dude is blinded to it, you know. Oh yeah, you can be whatever you want to be. You know, treat everybody nice. But no, Yahweh Hashem Shai has came back to give us this understanding that we are in the hands of our enemies. Thus the transatlantic slave trade, you know, which is one of the key factors of the signs that we would know that we're the Israelites, you know. Let's go get, let's, hey, let's just start off with that scripture right there. Because if they're trying to denounce, hey, y'all don't talk about slavery no more, you know, it's gonna, it's, it's, it's shedding bad light on, on, on us. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 45. It says, moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee. And overtake thee till thou be destroyed, because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee. Right? And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder upon and upon thy seed forever. So, based on the curses that are on the children of Israel, that, that is one of the key points to let us know who we are. Therefore, when we know who we are, to let us know who this devil is, Esau, Edom, the Caucasian race. Because down in the book of Deuteronomy, again, chapter 28, verse 68, it says, And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Now, this Egypt they're talking about right here is spiritual Egypt, which is Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. By the way whereof I spoken to thee, thou shalt see it no more again. We're not going to see our homeland of Israel anymore again. No, because we're the, we're the true Israelites. You know, we're not supposed to see our homeland no more. We're going to be in, a, in the hands of our enemies until Yahweh Shemashai comes and redeem us. Okay? Thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Okay? For bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. Right. We're going to be sold to our enemies, right? But no, this, this Jake here that's blinded by the gods of this world, that's going on, going on with society right now, he doesn't see them as enemies. He's teaching his daughter that, Oh, I just love everybody and everybody. You can be what you want to be, blah, blah, blah. The Bill Cosby stuff. Bill Cosby crap. You know. But no. No. We, we understand. How about Shemash Shai giving us this understanding and it's beautiful. You know, to come back to him. Right? And let's get, now let's get into the scriptures. Wait a minute. Do we want to? I want to go ahead and play the second, the second clip real quick. Go ahead and play that second clip real quick. So exhibiting cowardice. Now that a conservative effort to suppress classroom lessons about racism and slavery, the Times reporting on nearly a dozen Republican led states seeking to ban or limit how the role of slavery and the pervasive effects of racism can be taught. As Fox News goes all in on the issue. A curriculum that teaches their kids to hate their country. The political left in perpetuating this myth that America is a fundamentally racist country. The Joe Biden now wants to spend your money on critical race theory lessons for our country's already distressed students. Last month, the Department of Education proposed a regulation that directs tax dollars to the race hustlers who traffic in this poison. Tucker is the last person who should be talking about any form of trafficking. Now, parts of academia are aligning with the right wing rhetoric and in doing so exhibiting cowardice and a lack of integrity. Case in point. Explosive fight over the Pulitzer Prize winning journalist Nicole Hannah Jones, a recipient of the MacArthur Fellowship Genius Grant, they don't hand those out to everybody, whose 1619 project famously looked at the legacy of U.S. slavery, and who this year was appointed the prestigious Knight Chair in Race and Investigative Journalism at the University of North Carolina, which is usually a tenured job, except not this time. In a highly unusual step, the university's Board of Trustees denied Hannah Jones tenure breaking with the recommendation of the actual journalism department that was hiring her. It's already provoking a backlash. The UNC board claiming today Hannah Jones has a limited, quote unquote, academic background, even though she received her master's degree from, wait for it, University of North Carolina, which I should note is also my alma mater where I got my doctorate and I know the difficulty that they put people through. So what's really going on here? Well, first, there's the larger issue of diversity in academia. It's important to note just 5% of tenured professors at bachelor's universities in America are black. There are a larger percentage of African-American astronauts than black people who are tenured in this country. It's easier for us to get shot into space than actually teach undergrads. But there's also the cowardice element. Universities supposedly committed to the free exchange of ideas, which is now afraid of what Nicole Hannah-Jones might say in the classroom. 
would prefer to bend to politicians like Mitch McConnell, who is on a crusade against the 1619 Project, which I'm sure he hasn't read, and those voices over on, you know, the crazy place, Fox. The entirely fraudulent 1619 Project headed by Nicole Hannah-Jones. This uh, Hannah-Jones dispute leads to a larger question. Why was a woman who distorts history even up for a tenure position at any university in the first place. That might be the largest number of black people they've ever had on their shows. Joining me now is New Yorker staff writer and professor of of journalism at Columbia University, Jelani Cobb, an editor-at-large for the 19th and an MSNBC contributor, Aaron Haynes. Uh, I can't wait to have this discussion. So uh, one of the things that, that jumped out on me is that that uh that dude i don't like that dude man tucker talking about uh teaching their kids to hate their country but once again i thought that history was to show where we've been and what has happened so we won't repeat the same mistakes no but see these devils you know throughout the years they have um said one thing but did another and now it's all coming to light that hey you never freed us we're still yet this day in our captivity as the scripture proclaimed You know what I'm saying? No, you don't love us. You all still hate us. You know what I'm saying? All this stuff. Because what? It's this is scripture. And so so understanding now seeing that's why I read Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. You know, just all those things first, because those are the key points to understand to understanding this whole thing. You know, it all connects together, bro. It all connects together. Back even the spirit, you know, all the way back to the serpent in, in the garden. Esau. You know, the spirit, the spirit of Esau, all the way back there, deceiving Eve. No, that, you know, going against Yahweh Shemashah, going against the word of Yahweh Shemashah, as he does to this day. You know, no, you, you know, you shall not surely die if you, if you bite this apple, if you start learning the customs and traditions of these other nations. You, you won't die if you do that. You know what I'm saying? Back, back with Cain. Where's, where's that brother? Oh, I, I, you know, I, I don't know what happened to him. But you're the one that killed him. But you're still lying and deceiving. You know what I'm saying? Brother, you know, and said the days come where I will kill my brother Jacob. You know what I'm saying? And that's all, all of these things connect, bro. All of these things connect, and that's why this word is going out to the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. You know, the 144, hopefully elect, and one-third of Israel to take heed to these words, that the teachings of the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, you know, with that 100% truth, and all the other brothers on down there, umbrella, to bring this out so you can get this understanding of what's really going on around here. Because the scripture is telling you that this is the build-up. Because just like this dude's uh, teaching his daughter to continue to be deceived by the devil, the 144 hopeful elected one third of Israel, we're turning back to Yahweh Shemashah. So when this time of great judgment begins to befall the earth, you know, then the prophecy will be fulfilled that they shall no longer, let's go get it real quick. You know, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 10, verse 20, and it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them. You know, Esau eaten the Caucasian race with all their damn uh, wicked ass laws that, that's against the children of Israel. They shall no, no more stay upon them that smoke them, but shall stay upon the Lord Yahweh Shemashah, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. Okay? The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty hand, get unto the mighty Yahweh Shemashah. Though, and for though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. The consumption decree shall overflow with righteousness. Right, but then uh, the ones that are blinded, as you can see in the video, him teaching his daughter to love all people, you know, and all these things, they're gonna they're gonna take the medicine. They're gonna they're gonna take part of this uh, transhumanism, you know, that's being pushed forth with the mob. They're gonna fall prey to that. You know, because Yahweh Shemashah said only a remnant shall return. And that's what's going on right here. So let's get into a little, let's get into the epistle. I'm going to cut it down, bro. Because we had, man, Yahweh Shemashah. It's true, man. The, the, the scripture is true. But that um, he that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Boy, if y'all can see all the precepts that are before me here. Uh, but we understand that, hey, man, it's, it's the truth. It, 
you know, we're just just bringing it out, you know, to the best of our ability over here with the with the, with the Yahweh Hashem is giving us. Uh, and you don't, you don't. It's not about beating a dead horse or anything like that. Or it's just, um, you know, it's the truth, man. And we're just bringing it out to the best of our ability right here. We're just gonna go get a couple of these here. Let's go to the book of Habakkuk, chapter um, 2, verse 12, real quick. Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood, and establish a city by iniquity. Okay? That's right. Simple as that. Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood, and establish a city with iniqu by iniquity. And that's what Esau has done. Esau, Edom, the Caucasian race. Because once again, we're going to go to the book of Job, chapter... 9 verse 24 the earth is given into the hand of the wicked hold on let's go get it real quick okay. the earth is given into the hand of the wicked he covered the faces of the judges thereof if not where and who is he right once hey the earth is given into the hand of the wicked and what does he do first he covered up the faces of the judges he said that he's the, he said he did messiah he said he that other nation over there oh there he is again oh he, he's one over here saying that he's all this and all that but what at the same time he's a deceiver he's a devil he's a liar and what woe to him that built a town with blood and established a city by iniquity he's he's um had built his riches on the backs of the children of israel in babylon the great aka america but now he wants to cover that up and say no no uh we're all one people now let's uh forget all about that stuff uh you know, but in, in, in the same time, still spoiling and, you know, spoiling and killing and, and going after other wealth in other nations. You know what I'm saying? And that's all written right here in the scriptures against this man. Let's go back to Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by faith. That's right. We're going to believe in this word, man. No matter what this devil is trying to deceive us with, we're going to still continue to believe in the word because Yahweh Hashem HaShah bestowed us with, this, with the spirit of faith, bro. With this understanding. With the Holy Spirit. Ye also, because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man. Neither keepeth at home. Who enlarges his desire as hell, and as death cannot be satisfied, but gather unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people. Right? Shall not all these take up a proverb against him? And a taunting proverb against him and say, Woe unto him that increases that which is not his. How long? And to him that ladeth himself with thick clay. But now it's time, all that is time is come is coming to an end, bro. Now um we're gonna go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 47, verse 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit in the ground. Sit on the ground. There is no throne. O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Your time is up. For Esau is the end of the world, but Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it, bro. Take the millstone and grind mill. Uncover the locks. Make bare the leg. Okay? Uncover the thigh. Pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. As for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name. The Holy One of Israel. Sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called the lady of kingdoms. I was wroth with my people. I have polluted mine inheritance and given them into thine hand. Thou didst show them no mercy. Upon the ancients hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke. And thou said, I shall be a lady forever. So thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, Neither did this remember the latter end of it. Right. You didn't show the Lord's people no mercy, bro. You know? And you're still not. You're still lying to them. You know? But you didn't think about the latter end. Because, you know, as the scriptures say, at least they knew that we were the children of Israel. There's still posters that say, uh, he bowls for sale. You know what I'm saying? He bowls for sale. You know, they know they bought us from the... From the um, from the Africans, the so-called Africans, and the Arabs, you know, that we were not Africans, that we were the children of Israel, 
But this is a prophecy being fulfilled. But now your time is up, bro. Uh, hold on. Let's go to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 49, real quick. Like I said, we don't want this to be super long. This book of uh, Jeremiah chapter 49 verse 10. But I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places. He shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled. And his, and his brethren and his neighbors. And he is not. Okay. That's right. So this devil has went all around the world. Deceiving the whole nations. As the scripture has declared that he was going to do. You know because this is his, this is his, his, this is his uh, lot. To be the devil that the Bible speaks of, but now it's all being brought out to the front, forefront. But he, 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 no, he want no, no, no. Now he wants to block it all off. He want to block it all off. No, no, don't, don't talk, don't talk about that. Don't teach that no more. You know what I'm saying? They used to be proud of it, man. In my work, they got, they got all these books about slavery. You know, down here in the, in the islands, they, they, they boast it. Hey, this is a, you know, look at what we done did to them niggas. Ha uh ha, -huh. read all about it over here. You know what I'm saying? They, they pride themselves on it. You know, won't y'all celebrate Black History Month? Look at, it, look at the fight, the Martin Luther King and all this, what y'all, you shall overcome. But you ain't overcome shit, Jake. Yeah, how about Shema Shai? It's the one that's going to come and redeem us out of this. Let's go to the book of First Thessalonians. It's like it's uh, 2 Thessalonians, chapter 2, verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And that's where we are right now. So that man of sin is being revealed, right? The son of perdition, Esau, Edom, the Caucasian race, the devil that the Bible speaks of. Boy, you know, we might have to make a part two to this epistle. We might have to make a part two to this. Um, because the man is saying must be revealed. <laughs> we, and we, that's our job, man, to come out here and preach against. Come on, let's go get that. Let's go get that. While they have set up, man, because, hey, man, the, the, the way the scriptures are and the way that uh, Yahweh Shem Hashem has given us this understanding is that it all, like, fits together so, so neatly. Um, it's perfect, bro. There's no denying it. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence, right? Because why? The, 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 the prayer says, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Because why? The earth is given into the hand of the wicked right now. So we're preaching against these things. You know, everyone that's pre preaching prosperity or preaching to be a part of this wicked world are, are, are false prophets, bro. We're preaching about the time of the end over here. We're preaching about thy kingdom come. You know, this, this and, the, and the scripture declared that so, so perfectly. Let's uh, reset the camera, man. Okay. So, so what are we gonna what are we gonna do now? So let's let's read that Second Thessalonians again. Uh, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. So the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native Americans, we have fallen away, right? Uh, and then you can see that in that first in that in that little clip we had with the with the with the father, with the father teaching their daughter to be a part of this wicked ass world. Not knowing, because as, as once again, Romans chapter 11, verse 7. Uh, the election have obtained it, but the rest were blinded. Not knowing that the gates of mercy are open. Now is the time that the true Lord and Savior is back. Not this false God and false idol, so-called name JC. Talking about all love, love, love. No, the Lord is talking about he's got a chosen people. That he hated Esau, Eden, the Caucasian race. You know, he's put them up just like he did Pharaoh so he could bring them down. That's what, that's what the scripture is talking about. But... You know, come on, let's read it. Except they come a falling away first. So that shows you the falling away right there. And that's how we all were, but until Yahweh Shemashah woke us up to this truth, this 100% truth of the scriptures. 
to say, hey, no, be not a part of this wicked world. I'm coming back to redeem you. I, I did this. I'm the one that put y'all in the transatlantic slave trade because you disobeyed my laws. I'm the one. You're the one that stood in front of Moses and received these laws and commandments. You are my chosen people, you so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. But now, this, this is your time to wake up and come back and, and follow and seek me. You know, seek the Lord. Start watching the videos of the Elvis and Apostles of Great Millstone with the 100% Truth and all the other brothers on down to get this understanding, man. You know, that's the falling away. And I want to read this real quick in the book of uh, Mac in, the, in the book of Apocrypha, in the Apocrypha, First Maccabees chapter one verse forty one. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to the whole kingdom that all should be one people, and everyone should leave his laws. So all the heathen agreed according to the commandments of the king. So all the heathen, all these other nations, began to leave their customs and their heritage and, and start to follow the king's law. Just like, just like now, because Yahweh Hashem said there's nothing new under the sun. You know, so just like Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, is spruing out their, their wine over the whole nation, all the, over the whole earth. And everyone that comes to Babylon the Great saying, no, y'all forget your laws of your land and all your customs and traditions. But y'all become, now y'all become Americans. You know, we all want people. But that's a lie, especially to the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians because they're all one people as long as, they, as long as the Edomites can be on top, right? Everyone should leave his laws, so all the heathen agreed according to the commandments of the king. Yea, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion and sacrificed unto idols and profaned the Sabbath. Right, I just wanted to bring that little part out because that's what you see with that, with that uh, Jake there. Teaching his daughter to love all people and do all this stuff. Now, how about Shema Shah said um, we should be peaceable upon all men, follow the laws of the land and all these things, but you got to know who you are, bro, because this is that time to come back and repent to the one true living God and start, you know, living toward Yahweh Shema Shah and not toward this wicked ass world, you know. All that vanity of voting and all that shit, thinking everything going to be all right here. No, this is the time of the end, bro. That's what the scripture is saying right here. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed. So the day will not come, and that's that's why we're closely waiting, patiently, on Yahweh Hashem shall return. Because what? The falling away has happened. But now, we're being woken up to the truth, and now that man of sin is being revealed. Esau eating the Caucasian race. Verse 4, who opposes and exalt himself above all that is called Yahweh Shema Shah. So, no matter, even though you, you, you're supposed to be sitting up in this church, you know, believing in the one true living God, but no, you're worshiping a false God and a false idol. Because he's blaspheming the name of the Lord, number one. He put up a false image of the Lord, number two, saying that he is God with the blonde hair and blue eyes and stuff. Got you to worship in all these pagan holidays. You know, Easter, Christmas, all these things that's contrary to the word behind Bashi Masha. Where's the Sabbath day? Out the window. You know? So, what? Who opposes and exalt himself above all that is called God or that is worship, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. But now he's been ousted. You know? Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things? Verse 6. And now ye know that withholding that he might be revealed in his time and this is that time that he's been revealed for the devil that he is okay for the mystery of iniquity doth already work only he who now led it will let until he be taken out of the way so as the scripture in the book of Romans talking about you know yeah but just for the same reason the Lord lifted up Pharaoh so it could bring him down so he's lifted up Esau you know gave him dominion over this wicked over the all this world he's running in wicked wickedness so it could bring him down bro Simple as that. A, B, C. All praises to you. How about Shema Shai? Verse 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed, which is now, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, which is right now. He's being consumed with the spirit of his mouth by the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and all the other brothers on down. That umbrella bringing out this 100% truth on his ass. Letting y'all know, hey man, this man, his spirit is not, uh, not upright in him. You know what I'm saying? He's the devil that the Bible speaks of. All the way from the Garden of Eden, Cain and Abel, Isaac and Esau, so like the, uh, Jacob and Esau, and, and here, the whole nation. Yahweh yeah, Shema Shah in the book of Malachi chapter 1, we can say all of them, and not, not, the whole nation is, is, is messed up, man. Okay? And then shall that wicked be revealed, 
whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power, signs, and lying wonders. So, you know, because he's got that. He's got that. He's got the technology. He seems to be, you know, on the up and up because he's the deceiver, bro. All praise to you. How about Shemashah again? Now, the reason why we're going to have to make a part two to this is because, um, well, you know what? No, we're going we're gonna to do it, though. But we're going to, um, because I wanted to show, uh, first of all, Let's, let's get this. Let's just get the strips. Let's, let, the strips are going to speak for themselves. And then and, and we're going to have to we're going to have to bring it to a close in just a second. And we'll have to make it part two later on. You know, this is a book of uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 3. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 3. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Okay. In whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not. At least the light of the glorious gospel of Yahweh Hashem Hashai, who is the image of Yahweh, Yahweh should shine unto them. Right. So, uh, if you don't believe this word, it's because you're lost. Yahweh Hashem Hashai didn't call you out of the darkness into this marvelous light. You know? And that's why we give all honors and praises to Yahweh Hashem Hashai, because he has called us out to understand and believe these words. When he said, he said, when he, when he comes back, will he find faith on the earth? faith in what? The one true living God, bro. Not no false God and false idol, so-called named JC, or these philosophies of this wicked-ass world. You know what I'm saying? Because you either believe the words or not. Or the traditions of men. That's what you, they want you to do. They want you to believe the traditions of men. Now believe what I say. No, not the, what the words say. Let's read it one more time. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 3. But if our gospel be here, it is here to them that are lost. In whom the gods of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not. At least the light of the glorious gospel of Yahweh Hashem Hashai would shine. Unto, who is the image of Yahweh should shine unto them. Right, simple as that, man. Let's go to the. Let's come on. Let's go get some more of this epistle before we have to close it out. This is the book of uh, one of my favorite scriptures. This is the book of uh, Psalm chapter seventy-three, verse eighteen. Surely, surely thou didst set them in a slippery place. Thou cast them down into destruction. How are they brought into desolation as in a moment? They are utterly consumed with terrors. Right. Because Yahweh Hashem HaShah set them on a slippery place, Ben. Because um, as the scriptures say, the deceived and the deceiver are, are them. Man, well, I got to bring it out because I keep referencing it. I keep referencing the, the scripture in the book of Romans. So we got to go get it, man. Romans Let's just start at 11 Romans chapter 9 verse 11 For the children being not yet born Neither having done any good or evil That the purpose of Yahweh Hashem Hashem According to the election might stand Not of works but of him that calleth Right so the children not being born They already set in their on a particular lot Because Yahweh Hashem Hashem has declared the end from the beginning So there's a particular way Things have to Prophecy had to be fulfilled in order for the story to move forward and it be a complete, you know, complete and the perfect will of, of the Lord, right? So, for the children not being born, neither have done any good or evil, that the purpose of Yahweh Shemashai, according to the election, might stand, not of works, but of him that calleth. Right. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. So, once again, the elder shall serve the younger. Who's the elder? Esau. Who's the younger? Jacob. The so-called... Uh, Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians are the younger. The elder are the Edomites, Esau, Edom, the Caucasian race. They are born and meant to be servants of us. Okay? As it is, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So it's not hard, uh, to, you know, if you believe the words, as, as the scripture say one, one more time, you know, he that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water, because this is the truth. Yahweh Shemashah also said, Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Right, so that, that Jake, I keep reference that Jake, the father and daughter, because it's, it's, it's um, you know, that's the blindness that the Lord has put on these people uh, because they love not the truth, bro. You know, the truth is right here. Uh, you still, you're studying getting Jake, y'all said it's sin, Jake getting shot down in the back. 
You remember all the redlining about, you know, it's hard for us to get loans. This system is set up against us, but yet and still, they continue to, to triumph. Yeah, hey, yeah, great, America, great, yeah, we're part of this society. All this, you know. But this is all prophecy being fulfilled, you know. As it was said to her, the elder shall serve the younger, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Right, so as the scripture also proclaims, if you love Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know, um, as, a, as the scriptures say, don't I hate them that hate thee? Uh, roughly paraphrasing. Um, and we, we hate the things that the Lord hates. So these people hate the Lord. They hate the word of the Lord. That's why they're contrary to the word of the Lord. Because they're made to be contrary to the Lord. They're made to be the adversary. So, of course, there's a hatred. But no. The gods of this world have deceived the minds of these people. To get them to, to say, oh, they love so much. They love, they're so much into love. But that's a damn lie. Because we walk around all day long being pissed off about something. Somebody walks around, who walks around with a smile on their face? They're fa false facades, man. They have, what, your, your emotions are cut off? Or whatever. As our, if our gospel be hid, is it hid to them that are lost? Verse 14, what shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with Yahweh Shemashah? God forbid. For he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of Yahweh Shemashah that showeth mercy. For the scripture, here's, and this, this is what I've been referencing all morning. For the scripture said unto Pharaoh, Even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Therefore have he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will harden. Thou was saying to them, Why dost thou yet fall in fault? For who have resisted his will? Nay, but old man. Who art thou that repent, who replieth against God? Shall the thing form say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? Have not the power, power over the clay, and of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor, and another unto dishonor? What if God willing to show his wrath, and to make his power known, endure with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction? And that is Esau, whom the Lord hate. With much long suffering, allow them to do uh, all these wicked things that they've been doing around around the earth, man. Deceiving the nations. You know. When our iniquity was at an end, they, they showed us no mercy. They continued on, man. Let our dead bodies lay in the street. Not even, even until this day, not even declaring that we're the Israelites. But no, continuing on with this facade that we're the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. You know what I'm saying? What if Yahweh Shemashah is willing to show his wrath to make his power known, endure with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction, and that he might make known the riches of his glory to the vessels of mercy, which he had afore prepared unto glory, even us, whom he called, not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles, right? And once again, the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. All of these are Israelites, the Jews and the Gentiles, because the Gentiles will be as this Jake here that don't know that he's an Israelite. You know, he's still proclaiming that he's an American. Because he's been Hellenized. You know, he's taking on the uh, traditions and the customs of another people. Not the traditions and the customs of his nationality, his true heritage. And that's what we read about in the book of First Maccabees chapter 1 verse 41 moreover King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people and everyone should leave his laws so all the heathen agreed according to the commandments of the king yea many also of the Israelites consented to his religion and sacrificed unto idols and profaned the Sabbath that's why it's very important for us right now brothers and sisters you know the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native Americans to repent, to come back, start watching the videos of the elders and apostles of Great Millstone with their 100% truth. Come back to Yahweh Hashem and understand His will and prepare your hearts and minds, because and stop following this man Esau, Edom, the Caucasian race, this devil that the Bible speaks of. Um, I want to go to the book before we close it out, man. Um, just to put it in the in this part in this part one. 
I want to put this little, uh, little this scripture in here uh, because we once you know this is gonna be part one. We're not gonna make it super long because if we do, it can be you know more than an hour long. We you know we don't want that. So this is the book of Second Corinthians chapter six. Let's start at. Uh, Verse 14. Wait. Let's start at 17. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, say Yahweh Shema Shai, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. And um, Esau eat him, and there's all his wicked ways. Everything is unclean. Because um, in the book of 1 John, Chapter 5, verse 19. And we know that we are of Yahweh Shemashai, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. Everything is polluted because uh, it's been pushed forth by the Esau Eden, the Caucasian race, which is against Yahweh Shemashai. So we're commanded to come out from among them. Our, with our thinking, we're supposed to be uh, reborn, being baptized in the word of truth. To understand good and evil, you know, to stay away from it. Hey, man, that's that's not good. That's not the way. We should be waiting on Yahweh Hashem Hashem to deliver us out of these, out of the hands of our enemies at this time. You know, not running toward them, as we wrote, read in the book of um, in uh, Isaiah chapter um, ten, verse twenty. You know, only a remnant shall return. You're not going to stay upon these devils no more. Um, so it's about that time. Let's see. We're going to get. We're gonna get one more, then we're gonna close it out. One or two more, then we're gonna close it out. We're just gonna let the, the time run off, and it's gonna it's about to do that right now, brothers and sisters. In the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 16. Least there be any fornicator or profane person, person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. For ye know how that afterwards he would have had he would would have her, inherited the blessing. He was rejected, for he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. So once again, declaring that these devils, Esau Edom, the whole nation, Caucasian race, have no place of repentance. In the eyes of Yahweh Shemashai. Okay? They're, they're, they're made to be the wicked. They're steadily, constantly going off. They're made to be the adversary, brothers and sisters. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 12, verse 31. Wherefore I say unto you, All manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men, but the blasphemy against the Holy Spirit shall not be forgiven unto men. And that's one of the... Um, you know, if this devil was on, on, on court, on trial, which he is, you know, he's got just so much piled up against him, you know, that, um, you know, and, and that's why, yeah, that's how Yahweh Shemashah set him on a slippery, slippery, court, uh, slippery slope. Uh, this is the book of Exodus chapter 21, verse 16. And he has, and he that stilleth a man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. And that, once again, is Esau Edom, the Caucasian race. Shalom.